A 94-year-old female has an aggressive infection in her lower jaw. Check out the full workup and surgery today on the Open Reduction. Welcome to the Open Reduction, your channel covering all topics oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton, and today we're looking at an aggressive infection in a patient's lower jaw. This patient is a 94-year-old female who I'm seeing as an emergency. She recently fractured a lower tooth and now is experiencing swelling and severe pain. On clinical exam, we can see that the lower mandibular incisor, tooth number 25, is fractured at the free gingival margin and is no longer restorable. In addition, there is swelling, purulence, and inflamed tissue in the anterior vestibule of the mandible. This area is very sensitive. The floor of her mouth is soft and her adjacent teeth are asymptomatic with no pathology. Her dentist took a radiograph before sending her to my office. She has enormous mandibular tori, which are these radiopaque images here and here. It is clear that tooth 25 is the source of this infection. The tooth has caries where it fractured. The plan is to remove the source of this infection, the broken tooth, clean the area out thoroughly, and place the patient on antibiotics. This procedure is done in the office under local anesthesia. Once the patient is anesthetized, I make an incision through the sulcus and the adjacent papilla. I relieve the gingiva and then extract the tooth. Now that the tooth is gone, I cure at the site to remove all granulation tissue. The labial bone has been destroyed by this infection. I pass the curette through the inflamed tissue and it exits through the extraction socket. I curette this site to healthy bone and then rinse thoroughly. Finally, I close the extraction site. I know a lot of people are going to ask, why didn't I graft this site? 
One, this is clearly a very aggressive infection, and placing a lot of foreign material into this site immediately after the procedure increases the risk substantially for a secondary infection, which would mean an additional large procedure, potential for worse complications, and additional antibiotics. Two, this patient is in her mid-90s and has absolutely zero interest in replacing these missing teeth with dental implants. Remember, not all sites need to be grafted. People have been suffering from dental infections and losing teeth for tens of thousands of years. Bone grafting is a very new treatment modality in the grand scheme. Grafting is definitely beneficial when the goal is to maintain as much bone as possible. But this will heal without a graft. I will save this patient money by not grafting the site. The infection is more likely to clear without any foreign material in the area and she'll still be very happy with the end result. The patient was prescribed antibiotics and I saw her back one week later and three weeks later to ensure appropriate healing. Here is the site three weeks out from the procedure. We can see it is healing well and there's no sign of a persistent infection. She's very happy she's now out of pain. Thanks so much for watching. Please click those like and subscribe buttons and check out my channel for lots of interesting oral surgery content like this. Also, my website, theopenreduction.com, has tons of good information to help you hone your clinical skills. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on The Open Reduction.